Are you fed up with having to scrape out by hand or using a squeegee? Or are you looking for a backup system so that if your machine has a breakdown, you've got something you can use? Or do you have areas that your robotic scraper can't get to? Then we've got the answer for you. So in a previous video, I used a Westerman CM2 Clean Melian ride-on scraper, silage, auger, big wire brush, a very exciting machine. But today, I get to walk behind one. What? Tested by Machinery Nation. We are testing the Westerman WS800 battery powered walk behind scraper. Oh yes, you can stand behind it and scrape to your heart's content. So whether you're looking for an alternative from pushing with a hand scrape, something as a backup to your tractor system, or for those awkward places where you've got a robot that the robot doesn't get to, then this could be the answer for you. We have the 1600 mil wide scraper on the front at the moment. We've also got the material pusher, so for pushing it in silage, which you can angle, and we've also got the small box scraper. We're gonna test all three, so let's crack on and give it a go. Right, so being a battery powered machine, it has an onboard charger, so you can just plug this into any three point pin, plug it in overnight, it's ready for you to go for the next day. It has forward and reverse controls, literally just on a toggle switch here. So you've got forward speed and you've got reverse, and you've got a key switch on this side, and then you've just got a thumb throttle like on a quad bike. And it's got a good transport speed as well. Oh, I'm just calculating. Get it? Calculating? Uh, never mind. Right, so I have the 1600 mil scraper on the front. We're going to do some runs down through this passageway and see how we get on. And we're off. Oh, yes. We're scraping. Look at this. <laughs> we're scraping. It's ever so easy. Oh, yes. So that's done a pretty good job. I'm very happy with that. For a lighter weight machine, walking behind it, that's done a cracking job. Right, I think it's time we tried the other one. <laughs> Get it? Other, other one. Ah, oh, never mind. Right, so let's change over from the large scraper to the small scraper. So first of all, you need to come down here and turn around your little knobbies on each side. One, two, like that. And then turn your key back on again, pop it in reverse and unhook. Ha <laughs> ha, look at this, I've now got a machine. Just a machine. And then to hitch up, come in around here. Excuse my driving. Line up your pins on the bottom, hook them in, keep a little bit of pressure on the back here, flick that pin around, flick that pin around, give it a little wiggle and it's all clicked in, as easy as that. Let's try the box scraper and see how we get on with that. I'm loving this scraper. It's so quiet, it's so nice. <laughs> Love it. So the box scraper has done a really, really good job. Yes, it's slower than the big one, but it has left a really nice finish. Let's move the bullocks back in again so that we can use the silage pusher. Oh yes, and get it, move, move, move. Never mind. Right, so the silage pusher or material pusher, you can use this for many different things, I'm sure. You can have it flat, you can have it that way, you can have it that way. For silage, we're gonna pull out the pin and push it right round as far as it'll go, right round there to push the silage in. So now let's go up the end of that line and push in the silage. Right, there's a bit of trial and error. We're feeding you, yes we are. 
Nice. That has done such a clean job. I'm, I'm super impressed. I didn't think that tool was going to be very good, but I've been surprised. Nice. The question you're probably asking is how long does the battery last? Well, what we've done today is scraping out two passages and feeding a bit of silage, admittedly, as well as a little bit fiddling around because we've been filming. And the battery charge indicator, which is underneath here, is still reading between 80 and 100%. So you could scrape a large area on one battery charge. So in all honesty, I do not have any beef with this machine. Get it? Beef? Anyway, less of the dad jokes. I am super impressed with it. I, when I first saw it, I thought, okay, it's probably a little bit of a gimmick, it might work for some, but it has actually scraped out really, really well. Whether you're getting on in life and looking for an easier option, or whether you just need it as a backup machine, or whether you need it for small, awkward areas on undulating ground, I think it's got a definite place in the market. So if you're looking for a machine, Westerman do a massive range of equipment, from ride-ons to brushes to other scrapers. So I put the link at the bottom of this video in the description, so you can go and check out on their website to everything that they provide. I've also linked other videos at the end of this so that you can go and watch them as well. So we're Machinery Nation. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!